Along the south shore of the Straits of Mackinac, a small creek empties into Lake Huron. Hardly noticeable, by the middle of summer, it can dwindle to a small trickle. Filled with plants and wild animals today, the land around this little creek reflects a long history and once hummed with human activity. The history of Mill Creek begins thousands of years ago. As prehistoric glacial lakes rose and fell, they created plateaus at their shorelines. When the water settled to its current levels, creating the Great Lakes, the plateau at Mill Creek sat 150 feet above Lake Huron. This plateau, now home to Dingman Marsh, collects water from rain and snow, sending it back down to Lake Huron through Mill Creek. Over thousands of years, the creek sculpted the underlying limestone, carving a ravine as water flowed downhill. Today, beaver dams occasionally create quiet pools in the upper reaches of the creek, which is also home to rainbow and brook trout, painted turtles, toads and frogs, and a variety of insects. The cooler, damp forest near Lake Huron includes northern white cedars, balsam firs, white pines, and paper birch trees, while the warmer, drier upstream area is home to hardwoods such as sugar maples and northern red oaks. White-tailed deer, black bears, porcupines, garter snakes, and a variety of other animals also live near Mill Creek. Mill Creek flows into the Straits of Mackinac, whose geographic location made them an important place to both indigenous people and Europeans. To the local native people, the Anishinaabek, the Straits region has great spiritual significance, and they also fished here every summer. In 1671, French missionaries and fur traders established a post at St. Ignace in the Upper Peninsula. By 1710, most of this community moved to the South Shore and soldiers built Michilimackinac, a new fort there around 1715. Michilimackinac teemed with life as an important fur trade rendezvous. In 1761, it came under British control but the fur trade remained central to the regional economy. During the American Revolution, British officials moved the community to a more defensible site on Mackinac Island. Some buildings were relocated to the island and soldiers burned anything that could not be moved. New buildings were also needed on the island, requiring large quantities of sawn lumber. Sawing by hand was time consuming, but falling water had been used for centuries to run sawmills in Europe and America. Sometime before 1793, Robert Campbell, a former resident of Michilimackinac, built a 10-foot high cedar log dam and a sawmill on this little creek. The dam created a mill pond where water was stored until needed to power the mill. To run the mill, the millwright opened a sluice connected to the dam, allowing water to fall down onto a flutter wheel. As the wheel spun, it moved the saw blade up and down, cutting logs into planks. Using the mill, Campbell could cut boards 15 to 20 times faster than sawing them by hand. Melting snow during the spring thaw allowed the mill to run all day, while the drier summer months limited mill operations as less water came down the creek. The building boom on Mackinac Island kept Campbell busy sawing boards. He built a two-room log house and a workshop near his mill on the east side of the creek. By the early 19th century, the site included much more than the mill. Campbell owned a 40-acre farm, a large orchard, and a grist mill as well as the sawmill. The grist mill, with its large granite millstones, was added to grind corn and other grains. Campbell operated the mills and farm as Northern Michigan finally became part of the United States in 1796, supplying the U.S. Army with lumber to repair and expand Fort Mackinac. After he died in 1808, 
His son John ran the mill for 11 more years. In 1819, the family sold the 640-acre property to Michael Dousman, a wealthy Mackinac Island merchant. Born in Pittsburgh, Dousman came to Mackinac in 1796 and entered the fur trade. He acquired considerable property on Mackinac Island and was eventually the second largest property holder in Michilimackinac County. He also had property and business interests in Green Bay and other locations. Dousman, who lived on the island, sent an employee to manage the farm and operate the mill on the mainland. By that time, the Campbell House had burned and Dousman's employees erected a new dwelling. This new millwright's house included living quarters and a workshop. Dousman's mill continued to supply lumber for use on Mackinac Island, some of it cut from logs rafted from nearby Bois Blanc Island. The Mackinac fur trade, dominated by John Jacob Astor's American Fur Company, reached its peak in the 1820s. Dousman held numerous contracts with the U.S. government, supplying lumber, firewood, beef, and forage to Fort Mackinac and the Mackinac Indian Agency. In 1825, the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions, a Protestant missionary group, used the lumber from Dousman's Mill to build the Mission House, a boarding school for Native American children. Later, the group purchased materials to build Mission Church, the first Protestant church on Mackinac Island. By the 1830s, Mackinac, a center of the fur trade for 150 years, declined as the trade moved further west and north into Canada. The mill, with its market evaporating, ceased operation by 1840. Following Dousman's death in 1854, his heirs sold the mill and farm. Tenant farmers worked small plots on the property for the next 60 years. Limestone quarrying in the early 20th century likely obliterated the remains of the mill. The remnants and memory of the mill were buried and forgotten. In 1972, Ellis Olson, a school teacher from nearby Sheboygan, began looking for traces of the old mill site. Working from scattered records, he came to the banks of this creek in the summer of 1972. Digging carefully, Olson, his wife Mary, and their friend Margaret Lentini found several items, including a military musket lock and a War of 1812 British Army cap plate. Olson took the finds to the Mackinac Island State Park Commission. Intrigued, the Park Commission authorized an archeological excavation of the mysterious site. With so few maps and historical documents relating to the mill and associated farm, archeology span is the most important source of information. Archaeologists excavated periodically from 1972 until 1994, locating remnants of the dam, two houses, and a workshop. The Park Commission funded the reconstruction of the sawmill, dam, and workshop, and historic Mill Creek opened to the public as a living museum and nature park in 1984. Since then, Additional elements, such as the reconstruction of the Dousman era Millwright's house and the High Ropes Adventure Tour, have continued to bring visitors face to face with history and nature. This spot, with its flowing stream, was one of the first industrial operations in the Upper Great Lakes. It reminds us of our interaction and dependence on nature. Watch the mill in operation and ponder what life was like here two centuries ago when Robert Campbell harnessed the power of the water. Industrial progress is not the only story Mill Creek has to tell, however. Several miles of nature trails beckon you. Easily accessible, the trails are an excellent way for novice hikers to experience the simple joys of a walk in the woods. Explore these trails and you have a chance to observe and learn about the plants and animals of the North Woods. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is yours to enjoy. Use its resources.
to get in touch with nature and with our past. This program made possible by Mackinac Associates, friends preserving and sharing Mackinac's heritage. Inquire about becoming a member or making a donation today. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is owned and operated by the Mackinac Island State Park Commission, protecting, preserving, and presenting Mackinac's historic and natural treasures since 1895. Welcome to Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park. Witness the power of the creek harnessed to cut timber into lumber at one of the oldest industrial sites on the Upper Great Lakes, or explore the fascinating natural world of a northern Michigan forest. Smell the sawdust as Sawyers demonstrate the pit saw method of cutting lumber. Then feel the power of the water used to cut timber inside the reconstructed sawmill. Mill demonstrations occur throughout the day. Naturalists lead programs and hikes throughout the day. Consult your site map for times and locations. Nearly three miles of trails wander through the woods. Take some time to explore Mill Creek and experience nature at your own pace. Consult your site map and trail signs for directions. Experience the Adventure Tour, a guided experience that takes you into, above, and through the Northern Michigan Forest. Adventure Tour tickets are available at the admissions area. Restrooms and drinking fountains are located just outside the visitor center. There are also two toilets along the trails. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is entirely smoke-free. Thank you for not smoking. Support for many programs and exhibits at Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is provided by Mackinac Associates. Inquire at the admissions area for information about making a donation or becoming a member. Don't forget to visit our other historic sites in Mackinac City the old Mackinac Point Lighthouse, and Colonial Michelin Mackinac are located on the shoreline near the Mackinac Bridge. Combination tickets are available at the admission area. Welcome to historic Mill Creek Discovery Park. Witness the power of the creek harnessed to cut timber into lumber at one of the oldest industrial sites on the Upper Great Lakes or explore the fascinating natural world of a northern Michigan forest. Smell the sawdust as Sawyers demonstrate the pit saw method of cutting lumber. Then feel the power of the water used to cut timber inside the reconstructed sawmill. Mill demonstrations occur throughout the day. Naturalists lead programs and hikes throughout the day. Consult your site map for times and locations. Nearly three miles of trails wander through the woods. Take some time to explore Mill Creek and experience nature at your own pace. Consult your site map and trail signs for directions. Experience the Adventure Tour, a guided experience that takes you into, above, and through the Northern Michigan Forest. Adventure Tour tickets are available at the admissions area. Restrooms and drinking fountains are located just outside the visitor center. There are also two toilets along the trails. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is entirely smoke-free. Thank you for not smoking. Support for many programs and exhibits at Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is provided by Mackinac Associates. Inquire at the admissions area for information about making a donation or becoming a member.